I'm Jane Betridge. I'd like to introduce you to this new flamboyant paper by Claire Fontaine. It's got a really, really unusual surface. I've sketched out a little flower, well, weed actually, some bindweed, and I'm going to put some paint around it to show you just what it does. I always love granulation in paint, and I like using lots of granulation medium. But with this paper, I don't need it. It does such wonderful things with your paint that it's a whole new technique really. Apparently it's 50% cellulose and 50% cotton. It helps you paint your painting for you. So I've just drawn out this bindweed which are white and I'm going to leave that white but wet around it to add some colour and add some paint then and you'll see just what it does. It's amazing. I usually work wet in wet so the colours merge together on the paper and mix together on the paper and that's what I like so I'm wetting it but I'm, I'm wetting it in a random way just for this little demonstration to show you just exactly what the paper can do. Okay so I've got some purply coloured paint here, it's intense violet with a touch of Delft blue added to it. And if I put that on, it's obviously spreading out as it normally does with wet in wet, but you'll see the texture of the paper in a moment. It's such an irregular surface, it's really unusual. I've never used anything like it before. I'll just have to break that up a bit. With some quinacridone magenta. I'll just tip it up a little bit just to get that running down, that's it, so some nice things are happening. And then I'm going to go into this Cascade Green, which is a nice colour. I'll put that around that side, I think. Add some water, get it moving and I'm working. And then there's a bit of dark over this side. Can you see what's happening already? Look, the texture under there is just amazing. It's it's quite mottled and you paint sinks into those mottles, that irregular, it's like the surface of the moon really. And your paint sinks, sinks into it and creates some wonderful effects. So I'll just do a bit of a weed coming out there. And you see the lovely granulation effect, you know, that the paper's making. The colour I put on was a non-granulating colour. And, and yet it's still given the impression that it is granulating, you know. It's absolutely brilliant. I'll just do one or two suggestions of some blackberries. Wet in wet blackberries, being as my paper's wet. <laughs> Don't get such a sharp edge, but you get the idea. <clears throat> I'm 
just join those up. Put a little bit of shadow inside the centre of the flower now. back you can do all the normal things like washing back and painting wet into wet as obviously or using it dry but um, it certainly enhances the granulation effect with a finer brush. Just need to touch that edge to sit the flower into the painting. To get the rounded effect, I'm using this angle shader brush to kind of lift out. And I'm coming off the flower actually to make it even more pronounced that I'm giving it some form. I'm waiting for this centre to dry so I can just do its little stamen. So I'm filling in while I'm doing that. I'll just leave that to dry and it'll just take one second then to finish it off. So that's nice and dry now. So I'm just going to lift a stem out in this area here that's a bit plain and it it lifts off dead easy this paper does which is good for when you want to lift stems and branches out or highlights you know then with some white ink I just need to paint in couple of stamens and I'll put just a couple of highlights on these blackberries Just make that a bit more pronounced, I think. little bit of spattering and 
And there we have it. You know, you can see the lovely things the paint does. You know, the, the unusual surface just helps you paint the painting for you. you know, it's, it's making it interesting without you having to do anything just by putting the paint on. Music